Hello and welcome back to another daily A-Level Maths exam question. As we can see then for today's question here, we have a question on differentiation, right? Now this example here or this question here is really quite straightforward because if we're going to differentiate y here with respect to x, we don't need anything fancy such as the chain rule, the product rule, the quotient rule, anything like that, right? We're just going to go simply term by term here. Now for a part one then, all we want to do here is find in its simplest form dy by dx, right? So dy by dx here, so we're just differentiating y with respect to x. All we simply do here is just go term by term, right? So 4x cubed, 4 times 3 is 12, reduce the power by 1. I get 12x squared, bosh, minus 7x squared, so minus 7 times 2 is minus 14. Reduce the power by 1, so I get minus 14x there. The plus 5x just becomes plus 5. And then the minus 10 here, that's a constant. And if you differentiate a constant, that's just 0. So this here is just simply the solution to a part 1. Now for a part 2, then, where we want the second derivative here, we just take dy by dx, and again, just differentiate term by term, right? So again, it's all very straightforward here. So for the second derivative, then, just quickly jot this down. So dx squared here. What do we get then? So as we just said, right, just go term by term here. So 12 times 2 is 24. Reduce the power by 1, so I get 24x there. So 24x. The minus 14x here, that just becomes minus 14. And the plus 5 here, well, again, that's just a constant, right? So once you differentiate a constant, it just becomes 0. So there we go, then. That gives the solution to a part 2. And then finally, for the very last part of this question here, part B, it just says, hence find the exact value of x when the second derivative here is equal to 0. So for B, then, all we're going to do here is just take the result that we got for the second derivative and just set that equal to 0. And from there, just solve, right? All very straightforward here. So I get 24x, 24x minus 14 is equal to 0. We shouldn't really be struggling with this, right? I would expect my GCSE students to be able to solve this. So I'd 14 to both sides. So 24x equals 14. And in that case, then I get x is 14 over 24. I can just simplify here. That is 7 over 12. Perfect, good stuff. So that gives the solution to today's question.